Psalm one hundred five, verses twenty four through forty five. Suppose you and I had lived in Egypt during the time of Moses and Aaron. Suppose we saw all of those plagues that came on the land because of the stubbornness of Pharaoh. What would our response be when we saw the Jewish nation leaving Egypt? Well, the psalmist wrote about this in Psalm one hundred and five, verse thirty-eight. This is what it says: Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. I have no problem believing that at all. Egypt was glad when they departed, and I have a suspicion that when God's people depart from this world, when our Lord Jesus Christ comes again, Egypt is going to be glad. You see, Egypt is a picture of the world. To the people of God, Israel, Egypt was a place of bondage, a place of monotonous toil. The land of Egypt is a flat land, and in many areas a barren land. Oh, but the land of Canaan is a land of hills and valleys, a land of rain and fruitfulness, a land of milk and honey. When you were saved, God picked you up and took you out of Egypt, spiritually speaking, put you into Canaan, and said, "Enjoy all of these blessings." Why was Egypt glad when Israel left? Well, one thing is sure: they were afraid. All of these judgments that had come down, Israel was an irritant to them. Israel was like salt in a wound, like light that exposes. Israel was worshiping the true God. And their true God was showing the power of His arm, and God used Israel to witness to Egypt. Alas, Egypt did not receive the witness. You and I, as Christians in this world today, are salt and light. We irritate people sometimes. Sometimes, by our lives, by our conduct, we expose that which is wrong. One of these days, we're going to be gone. It could be today. The Lord Jesus Christ might return today and catch His people home to glory, and I have a suspicion that the world will be glad when we are gone. No more salt, no more light. Ah, but then judgment. Let's remember we have a job to do while we're waiting for our Lord to come. To come.